Hello everybody and welcome to another Rental Tracks how-to video. This time we are talking about your brand new barcode or check-in check-out module, whatever way you want to call it. Your new check-in check-out module activated in your system if you have added it to your system. If you haven't, you can do so by going to the upgrade link at the top of your dashboard. That will get you to the screen where you can add the barcode module to your system. It gives you next level of checking in, checking out your items so you can actually increase the tracking ability within your rental track system. So what we're going to do is go through how you get started with it if you haven't used it before and also the process of checking in, checking out items and what happens if an item is damaged when you're checking it back in. So first we're going to go to our home base for our check-in, check-out module. So we're going to go to modules, down to in, slash out. This is going to be kind of your uh, area for for the information for the system. So the first tab is products out. It's going to tell you any products that are out of your system right now, that are out at an event, any products that are out. So your second tab is going to show you all checkouts that have done underneath your system. If you're just getting started, this is going to be blank right now. But if you've done them before, you're going to see all of the products that were checked out of your system previously uh, within your rental track system and then on the right hand side a column with a green check mark means that item has been checked back in and you can sort these items you can uh, sort them ascending and descending as well it's completely up to you as well the check-in works the exact same way it just uh, is in the reverse any items that have been checked back in on your system as well you can clear the filter as well and sort your products that way the fourth tab is the barcodes tab. This is when you first get started, the system is going to automatically generate barcodes for all of your products. That's why we insist on you making sure your inventory is correct first before you're activating this module because it's going to let the system automatically create a barcode for you. And that's based on the product numbers that you've created when you set up your inventory. So the barcodes are all going to be down the middle. So if you're going to add a new product to your system and there's no barcode, all you've got to do if you have the barcode generated from before is click the field and scan the barcode and it will put the correct barcode in for you. But if you're just getting started, we've got to print out those codes. So we're going to go to the fifth tab and you'll see on the right hand side, all the barcodes listed down the side. What we want to do is select all of our checkboxes and then we're going to click the print selected button. If you've hooked up your, if you have a barcode printer that's going to print the stickers for you, that's great. You're going to hit print selected and it's going to print out all those stickers for you. And then you get the fun task of going around and sticking them on your products themselves. Other people will also take the printout into a Word format and uh, put them into a booklet for ease of use to quickly scan to add items to orders. It's completely up to you how you want to work it, but that's the, what you got to do to get started. Print out those barcodes and get working on that right away. On the right hand side also of the products out and check in check out you have the in out button that launches you to your dashboard your in out dashboard. You can also get there by going to your dashboard and using the tabs along the top. So we're going to go to our in out. This is where you're going to actually proceed with the check ins and check outs. This is the actual function of the module. So we see a date range here from the June 28th to July 5th. That can be changed using the field on the right hand side. You can either do it by today, tomorrow, the next seven days, next 30 days, any specific date interval. You can go to the exact date that you're looking for with specific date. All dates before a certain period, and I think it goes back about 15 years, so you're definitely getting an entire window of time there, and then all dates after going into the future. But for now, we have an item here. We have an order that we'd like to check out. So items showing up on the left-hand side are waiting to be checked out. You have all of your action icons here. You know who the customer is and the start date of the order. If we click the checkout button, it's going to launch our checkout screen. Here, all you're going to do is you're going to scan your products and it's going to check them out for you. That's the way, the beauty of having the barcode, but we're not going to limit you to having to have the scanner. You can also manually check them out as well. We'll see in the screen that we have our customer information with the delivery date. We have our order where we once again have our action icons. We have the delivery location and note. We're going to say this. You can enter any note that you like in here. This is a test order for barcode module. Perfect. We can put any of the notes that we want into there. Then down at the bottom is where we're going to check out the items. So if we have serial numbers, we can check them out by serial number, which I'll do now. I'll select each one individually to check out those products. Then I also have the ability, I'm doing this manually so you can see how it works, to enter in that the tent is going out. And also we will rent out the two mixers because they don't have serial numbers in the system for that. Or if you know that you have all the products and it's a very simple checkout, you can click the mark everything is checked out button, so save yourself the time, and then go to complete checkout. 
Once we've done that, the product, the order moves to the right hand side to the check in. So now the system is assuming those products are out, they're being insert, they're being active in the field. We're waiting for them to be checked back in. So what let's move forward in time and assume the products have come back to us now. We're ready to check them back in. Once again, we're going to use the check in button. That's going to bring us back to a very similar screen. It looks a lot like the checkout screen. We're going to be able to see it here. The customer has got their information here. We've got the collection date, the order. And once again, the same stuff on the right-hand side. If we know that everything has come back in nice and easy, we know that it's all there and it looks good, we can use the mark everything is checked in. But what happens when something comes back and it's damaged and we need to charge the client for the replacement value of that item? So if, if, if the product is going to go for maintenance and you're not going to charge them for that, you might want to just check, you're going to check things back in and then go to your maintenance screen and put that in as a maintenance item. If you've seen the other uh, how-to videos, you know how to put items in for maintenance. If not, go back and refer to those videos now. If you want to charge them for service or you're going to charge them for return value or the replacement value of that item, sorry, we're going to show you how to do that now. So let's check back in. We'll check back in our tent and we'll check back in our, our mixers and we'll check in three to four of the guitars. And we'll leave the last one not checked in. On the right hand side in the service return column, this is where we're going to schedule them for maintenance or for replacement value. So the last one we'll put into here. So now I know I can complete my check-in because all the columns are green. We see that six products have been checked out and one product is going to maintenance, is going to be uh, charged the replacement value, or is going to, going to create a charge for the client when I complete the check-in. So I'm going to do that now and I'm going to be brought to a new order screen. This new order screen is going to the client. It's not a timed order because this is what we're creating them the product was damaged we're assuming the guitar was damaged when it came back in and I need to give the client a quote on how much that is going to cost so if I scroll down to the bottom in this line it's maintenance related to the order number 35 the product was the Yamaha acoustic guitar I've got my virtual product for replacement value if you haven't already created a virtual product for replacement value you need to do that now and then add it under basic settings as your replacement product. You have to have this product in, otherwise the system is not going to understand what product you're charging for. There has to be a replacement virtual product. So do that now. And if you've uh, created products before, you'll know how to do that really quick and easy. And then you'll be ready to go forward with your system. So I'm going to go over here. I can see that I'm charging a $1,000 replacement value for this. It's going to replace it in my system. If you're just charging a little bit of money for the repair or maintenance, maybe if this is a guitar the strings broke and you want to charge $20 to change the strings, you can change the price here as well. I'm going to go back up to the top and just like every other order, I need to make sure that somebody is tagged as responsible for the order and then I can save the order. Once I've done that, I've created a new order within my system. Once the client approves of it, I can change it, change it to booked or completed and save and close my order. Then you're going to create your final invoice and go forward just as if you had a brand new, a normal process creating an order for a client. Now I have no other orders to check in, check out. I can always go back and look back to my home base and see all the products that were checked out. Once again, they're all back, so I'm good there. I can see all my checkouts and check-ins here as well. That's it for the barcode module. That's how you're going to use it. I hope that uh, helps you track your inventory a little bit better and give you another enhanced feature within your rental track system. If you have any questions, call us at 888-925-6236. That's 888-925-6236. One more note about the barcode module. Once you've checked your items back in, you cannot go back and edit that order. So please make sure that you've checked your products properly. You're scheduling them for maintenance or replacement properly because once you've checked your products back in the system is going to assume that that order went as planned and you cannot go back in and edit that order so make sure you're doing that properly any questions info at rentaltracks.com call us at 888-925-6236 or check out the website www.rentaltracks.com